Hey everybody, my name's John and welcome to my channel. I'm on an overnight camping trip, so stay with me and we'll get started. The North Trailhead is the primary entry point to the trail system at Oak Mountain State Park. You have access to the four main trails, red, white, yellow, and blue at this location. I'll begin my backpacking journey by going south on the yellow trail. The trek is easy with a loaded pack and involves only a little uphill with the descent into Maggie's Glen. The yellow trail weaves through the foothills and provides some nice scenery. I'm on the yellow trail just north of Maggie's Glen. I'm headed to backcountry site two, which is south of Maggie's Glen. It's about probably a little over a mile to backcountry site two. This section of the yellow trail takes you through a small pine thicket. It's like you're walking through a tunnel. We're down here at Maggie's Glen. This time of year, there's not much water flowing at Maggie's Glen. There's just a little trickle. We're just south of the Glen on the Yellow Trail. This will take me to Camp 2. Here we are, Camp 2. Let's check it out. It's a good site. It's just right off the Yellow Trail. It's not far from the North Trailhead. It's about a mile and a half hike to get over here. Give you a little 360 tour. You're surrounded by foothills at Camp 2. Believe it or not, setting up my hammock system is one camp chore I don't mind doing. I like dialing it in to fit my comfort level. It's a little too high. I need to let it down some. Now that's the right level. I hook my gear to the ridge line with a carabiner. I'm staking out the bug net to keep it off my face.
Always fluff the down after pulling it out of a stuff sack. The hammock looks good now. It's time to get the tarp set up. We're all set up now. You're looking at the War Bonnet XLC Blackbird. And that's the War Bonnet Superfly Tarp. That ground pad is a Z Pack's footprint for one of their tents. WarBonnetOutdoors.com. You can research this hammock system. I really do like it. I've had it several years. I switched to a hammock several years ago because of tent camping made my back and hip sore. And I tried a different hammock when I first started. I got a cheaper one just to see if I'd like it. And once I figured out it was going to work for me, I spent more money and got this better hammock. This thing's fantastic. I love it. It has a mosquito net. This is my summer setup. I don't put any insulation underneath. Here in Alabama, you don't need insulation this time of year. From about the end of May all the way back to the end of September, 1st of October. You won't need any insulation underneath. The low it gets is in the 70s at night. And you just don't need it. It'll burn up. I do have a top cover. I got a Z-Pax 40 degree down sleeping bag is my top cover. But it zips down the middle so you can use it as a top quilt. I just keep it unzipped. Now it takes me longer to set up a hammock system than it does my tent. I could set my tent up in under 10 minutes. I can't do that with this system. It takes me about 30 to 45 minutes to set this thing up. The tarp is what takes the longest. The hammock doesn't take long, it's the tarp. I've got it set up in porch mode. I'm just using my trek poles. I don't have any trees handy to tie off to. That's my Yuko candle lantern. This is the front. The right end's my head. I'll take you around it. You've seen it. If you've watched my previous videos, I do this every time. But this is for new people who has never seen it before. Maybe this is the first time you've ever looked at one of my videos. This is my sleep system. Here's the back. Now I pitch it lower to the ground on the back. I always do it like this. I just stake it out. These MSR groundhogs. That's the kind of stakes I use. These are the regular groundhogs, not the minis. Now I stake out that ground pad with mini groundhogs. I'll show you them here in a minute. But all the tarp is staked out with the regular groundhogs. Now these are longer than the minis. I tried using the minis one time and it doesn't work when it's wet. They don't go down deep enough. This little orange strip you see here is just a piece of shock cord. Now see, that's already gotten loose since I've put the tarp up. See, that's why it, keep, it keeps it tight. I need to tighten that down a little bit, a bit more. I guess when I pulled around on the side, it may have gotten loose. Those strips, the shock cord, that orange strip, that keeps the tarp from flapping around when the weather changes and the tarp shrinks and swells. I have it on every one of my guy lines. Just a little strip of shock cord, that orange. And I tie it off with a clove hitch on both ends. My guy line is a Dyneema. It's a real light cordage. I've tried different types. I've tried bank line and paracord. That stuff's just too heavy. And I like this Dyneema. It's lightweight and it's strong. That's the foot. Here are the mini groundhogs. Now I stake out my ground pad with it. That's a mini groundhog right there.
here's what my overhead looks like. It's time to cook up some lunch. Got my Snow Peak stove going. I'm gonna have these ramen noodles along with some other goodies. I'm trying something for the first time, a little package of instant lemonade. This is a Snow Peak titanium cook set. The fork and mug are also titanium Snow Peak. The lid doubles as a skillet. The set is perfect for one person. I'm gonna cut it off. Just let that simmer. Soup's ready. I'm gonna let it cool for a little while. It'll be good and tasty. ULA on 2.0. I like it, it's a good pack. It's a 63 liter pack, it's like 30 pounds. I think I had 29 pounds in it today when I weighed it up last night. And that's, you know, that's including all my camera gear and stuff like that, it makes it a little bit heavier. That white bag is my ursac. That's my food bag. I've talked about this before, but if this is the first time you've seen my video, that's what I keep my food in, it's a Kevlar bag. I gotta go after some water. I need to go down here to this lake and filter some. There's a branch right over here close by, but I'm sure it'll be dry. This is an intersection at the Yellow Trail right before you turn off to go to the lake, but that trail there takes you to some cabins. We want to go this way. This will take us around the lake. I'm filtering my water with a Sawyer Mini Squeeze. It's real easy to use. You just take these bladders and fill them up and squeeze it right through the filter. Now it's getting hard to squeeze. When that happens, you need to back flush it. I'll show you how to do that. Now you have to back flush it with clean water and you do it right the opposite. So I wanna connect this this is the clean end. I want to back flush it through here. Clean water through the clean end. If you get, that's why I bring these smart water bottles. It's got this tip on it. And you can use it to back flush. Now there's a syringe that comes with this thing, but I don't use it. The syringe just comes with it to back flush it. But I, if you got these smart water bottles with these tips on them, you don't need it. Now this is the clean end right here. You just stick it on there and push your water through it. And that's how you back flush it. Now it'll come out faster. It should come out faster now. Yeah. I've got plenty of water now. I'm gonna go back to camp, two liters. Smart water bottles, filtered. I've got filtered water in this Gatorade bottle, and I'm taking back those two bladders full of dirty water. And this would be plenty of water for me to get back to camp, do my cooking tonight, and get back home tomorrow. I'm ready to cook something up tonight. This is what I'm having for dinner. I broke camp, I'm on the Yellow Trail headed north, going back to Maggie's Glen. I'm back at the Glen. I'll take the white trail back instead of the yellow trail. We've come to an intersection on the white trail. This other trail takes you over to the cabins. I want to go this way. This will take me back to the north trailhead.
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to me, hit that bell so you'll get notified on my next video. Thank you for watching.